For the fourth year running, SCAN is proud to support the Frontier Development Lab European Research Sprint. Frontier Development Lab, also known as FDL, is a public-private partnership with the European Space Agency in Europe and NASA in the USA, working with commercial partners to apply AI technologies to space science, pushing the frontiers of research and developing new tools to help solve some of the biggest challenges that humanity faces. These range from the effects of climate change to predicting space weather, from improving disaster response to identifying meteorites that could hold the key to the history of our universe. FDL Europe is a yearly research sprint hosted by the University of Oxford that takes place over a period of eight weeks in order to promote rapid learning and research outcomes in a collaborative atmosphere. The interdisciplinary teams address tightly defined problems and the format encourages rapid iteration and prototyping to create meaningful outputs to the space programme and humanity. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 2023 challenges. The first challenge at FDL Europe 2023 deals with space weather and early detection and how heliophysics machine learning models on board space observatories and on Earth can be used to build a near real-time warning system for potentially dangerous solar weather events, enhancing our understanding of the Earth-Sun system. Early detection and warning of potentially dangerous solar events is crucial for safeguarding our technological infrastructure and the safety of astronauts. The ability to detect and warn of dangerous solar events is crucial for safeguarding our infrastructure on Earth and in space. Space agencies today can give a 30-minute warning in advance of solar events, thanks in part to work done by the FDL over the last years. Expanding the time window of warnings is at the heart of what a heliophysics onboard team worked on this summer. One way of spotting solar events earlier is to monitor solar activity from a head of Earth's perspective. ESA's visual mission, which is due to launch later this decade, will be positioned at the fifth Lagrange point to provide a side view of the Sun and detect potentially hazardous solar activity before it comes into view from Earth. But even with more data, there are many other challenges, such as limited computing power on board and low telemetry bandwidth, that our team had to think through in order to enable near real-time space weather awareness. The FDL research team envisioned developing an AI pipeline that can analyse data both on board the spacecraft and from Earth-bound observatories, significantly reducing downlink bandwidth requirements and alert latency. Such a new AI tool could rapidly detect coronal mass ejections, study the underlying physics of solar eruptive events and determine more precisely their impact on Earth. The second challenge deals with generalizable models for synthetic aperture radar or SAR. SAR technology has proven to be an indispensable remote sensing tool as it penetrates through clouds and can detect millimetre level changes on the ground from interferometric processing. Synthetic Aperture Radar or SAR technology is a great remote sensing sensor as it images the Earth's surface regardless of weather condition and lighting. SAR microwave radar waves can penetrate the canopy and measure the scattering and reflection pattern of the underlying terrain. It can detect millimeter level change on the ground and be sensitive to many bio and geophysical parameters of great importance to measure the state of our blue planet. In 2022, FDL developed a machine learning pipeline for landslide detection that used SAR. However, the this model struggled to maintain high performance when applied to new location of times. This lack of generalization capability due to the complexity of SAR data has posed an hurdle in developing self-supervised learning techniques applied to SAR that can easily be adapted to multiple use cases. With this challenge, the FDL research team aims to create precursor foundation models for analysing SAR imagery and to understand the challenges of creating robust ML models for a wide range of downstream tasks. This includes dealing with complex and missing data when using such models, generalising across time and space domains and developing tooling to facilitate easy analysis and compelling visualisations. 
The final challenge for FDL Europe 2023 focused on foundation model adapters for disaster. More specifically on whether it was possible to use the power of large language models or LLMs to collate and interpret information on emerging and historic disasters to provide accurate and detailed information to response, recovery and resilience teams. The team has chosen to focus their work on one of the most impactful disasters in the world, flooding. By combining Earth Order observation, uh, flood prediction models, flood mapping tools, humans in the loop methodologies, and weather monitoring system with LLMs, they endeavored to create an NLP agent that could generate accurate and tailored flood reports used to assess disaster impact across the globe. By improving the curation, extraction, interpretation and dispatching of key insights regarding natural disasters data, it's hopes that information can be delivered faster to disaster management teams in a more timely way and for a wider range of disaster events. So there's a summary of what the FDL Europe 2023 research teams were looking at. Once the full results have been published later this year, we'll be producing case studies as we have done for the previous three years FDL challenges. In the meantime, you can read the previous case studies by clicking the links in the description below, along with our previous summary videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to catch future FDL content.